a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It is time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 265 pounds, running out of Beijing, China, presenting the challenger, Russia. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? So here we go, the weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 
And now he's got the tie clinch. That knee might have landed there. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. The takedown defense holds up. Oh, he goes to the uppercut and he lands to the head. He lands a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. Great punch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, his eyes. It's got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Oh, man, that was slick. Lands flush with that right hand. Right hand. Right, close guard now. He's gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Cho. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That knee might have landed there. Tags him with the uppercut. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, tagged him with that right. Oh, oh. wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh. Oh. Brilliant submission defense there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Feet on the hips here. Round two next. Oh, we're getting a finish here. in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. 
Back to the feet now. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lands the right hand. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish and then you try and count them. Three minutes to go in the round. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beaten. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that it's a fight. He's having his way with him here. Back mount now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation. This fight's gonna be awesome. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up, he went high with the defense of his own low, and now he's got to hurt very badly. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew. You have to find the right time to go with that with the right time. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Again, they clinch. And they separate. Good point. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Single collar tie there. Right hand landed. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, collar tie. Just misses with the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Single collar tie here. Nice straight right wings. 20 seconds left to go in round two. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. Oh, lands. 
lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big ball punch land. Now get back to range. Big elbow there, Lance. Back and forth we go! He engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big elbow. Good right here. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He's oh! Look at this, the Minari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Oh, nice. Nicely Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Fighters back to their feet here. Look at him big, that body shot right up through the opponent's skirts. And now he's got that tight punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and his land with a beautiful punch. Really got his opponent on notice here. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Battle for position here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good stick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! Inside the closed guard now. Look at him attacking that guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. Now he's okay. Now he's gonna escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained. 
gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound start. Joy going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Close guard. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Choi. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. You to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the effort. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Takedown defense holds up. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Unable to connect with the right. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch land over the top. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. He'll engage in a single collar tie. That was a yeah. nice strike. Punches one. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And back to his feet. Duffs the takedown, no problem. Yeah. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Nice punch, man. Does that one appear to stun him? He's in trouble. He's hurt. 
way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Both fighters back to their feet now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Oh, oh my gosh, perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Choice pass attempt denied. Seconds to go. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching. Oh, wow. Oh. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be... Good night, I read. And relax. Why don't you look to finish this round? To put the pressure on this guy. Go, it go, is go. the fifth and final round. Good punch, Lance. Look at the force behind that leg kick. fighter here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotta's call to stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so 